Hello, bonjour, merhaba, konnichi, wagwan, hello, you know who it is people, it's Arsenal's realist. I want to thank all my subscribers and every single person who hits the like button and everybody who's viewing. As you can see, there's the channel in the background, we've got a few good videos there, check it out, I really like that Martinelli one. And we're going to be doing a lot more videos in that style throughout the season. But it's a good day today people, and one of the reasons it's a good day is because, listen, who likes to watch House Under The Hammer? Because today is House Under The Bama, yang. Because, I'm like, seriously, it's a, I like to look at houses, the inside, the outside. And today, Aubameyang has opened his doors to the public. And the people get to see a little bit of how the ballers live. And the pictures are amazing. But I just thought I'd do a cool little video and let you lot see that. And we've got other videos coming up today. So make sure you check them out. It's Arsenal's Realist. Subscribe, view. Thank you very much, people. But with no further ado, I'm going to read to you a few little paragraphs of the information that I'll show you a few pictures of his house and yeah so let's get on with it inside pair Emery Kabamiang's mansion as Arsenal star offers an insight into his home life that's what it says Abamyang's luxury pad in North London includes his very own arcades game brother you're shitting me look listen I'm not saying man's not a bowler but if that's an arcades game We've all got an arcades game. You know them ones there. But with no further ado, let's carry on. Where he faces off with the likes of Arsenal teammate Ezen, um, Menenula, Meza Ozil and Seed Kalazanac. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has given his fans an extraordinary insight into his home life after starring in the latest episode of MTV Cribs. So, there you go, people. You know when they do MTV Cribs? It's a madness. Imagine if you went into a games room and saw one like that on MTV. Banda! But bruv, that games room doesn't sum up the epicness of the Duppy Mansion. But we're going to carry on because he goes on to talk about and show more than just that. The Arsenal captain welcomed cameras into his mansion in North London for a sneak peek around the property. He shares the luxury home with his wife and their two children and also introduced cameras into his mother's margarita who was in the star's huge kitchen, as you can see here, and blood, that's a bowling alley, that's not a kitchen, bro, that's a madness, can you imagine? Whilst there, he let viewers take a look inside the fridge freezer, to reveal it was packed to the rafters with food, and he loves a bit of meat, apparently. Can I say something, people? Let me show you my fridge, yeah? That's the Bama Yang's fridge. Now, real talk, let me show you my fridge. This is how the other side lives, people. Now, the one good thing about the fridge, it looks duppy. Now, when you open it, compare a Bamiyang's fridge to this fridge. But in this fridge is a Dairy Lee Dunker. Not only a Dunker, it's a jumbo tube. Don't get these tubes fucked up, bruv. They're thicker than Mr. Ezel's legs. Kit Kat, Big Pack, the two kids, the Winsters. But, listen, enough of me showing you lot the big boy fridge. That's the big epic, epic, epic realist fridge. Let's carry on with the Abameyang portion of the video. But <laughs> don't fuck with my fridge, Abameyang. You'll fuck up, blood. But I'm going to carry on giving you a little bit of info. As you can see from the picture in the fridge I just showed you, and this is what Abameyang says, it gives me the power of sprinting. As you know, I'm the fastest on the pitch. Without this food, I can't be a superhero or a superstar. And do you know what I want to say to Abameyang? This is the mad thing. This is the crazy thing. This is where I completely, I'm like a Bamiyang. I relate, I correlate, I, I'm entwined, I'm a twin. Me and a mama, blah, blah, yeah, because I tell you what, I get power from the meat too. And it makes me run fast. Let me show you my meat quickly, people. This is my meat, isn't it? The pepperami is what makes me run fast. Bro, you can't catch a pepperami. A Bamiyang. We're the same, bro, the meat will make you run fast, it makes me run fast too. But, again, let's carry on, I want to give you a little bit of info. The 30 year old's plush pad includes his very own arcades game room, where he likes to unwind away, sometimes with friends, and off the pitch. And he admits often playing online against some of his Arsenal teammates. Aubameyang said before he joked, Kalazanac is okay. So I beat him. Aubameyang loves bragging that he's duppying up Kalazanac. He'll be upset when he hears this, Aubameyang said. Of course, he's not the only person with his own game room. 
Brother, game room like that, like I said, most people got that. It's a screen in it. As across the hall in a space reserved solely for his children, filled with an abundance of toys. Well, that's standard. You should do that. You would do that if you was a baller. A Bamiyan who grew up in front, despite his family hauling from Gabon, said, I remember when I was young. I didn't have a lot of space. Big up to him, man. Much respect. I'm a guy who wants the best for them, so I try to give them the most space they want. It's clear that spending time with the children is higher for, on Abamyang's wish list and priorities. He added, keep your family close because it's really, really important. Some people would say, make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you. I told you, me and Abamyang are one of the same people. Subscribe, like, join the Abamyang tribe. You know them ones. It's clear of spending time with his family is a big priority to him. Despite offering a brief glimpse into his life, he still had time to finish with a tour of his garden which backs onto the countryside and features two miniature football goals. How lovely and billionaire sweet. That's the most important in the garden. We play with my kids and that's the most important thing to me, Obama Yang said. But while he's happy to play, he insists practice matches are the great opportunity to have fun with his children, but to teach them stuff. I'm a winner. I'm always a winner, I added. Shortly after pretending to give one of his children a yellow card, he says, I don't want them to feel this easy. So I'm a bit hard on them, but this is life. You have to work hard. I play for real. Now, I like looking into that in the band, man. And do you know what? I'm not trying to judge him, man, because of the way he dresses. And he obviously picked that on purpose to look all cool and that and not Louis Vuitton. -y. But do you know what? Respect to the man, bro. Listen, if you got the dough, you got to live in the big house, innit? But what I'm saying is, and what scares me, people, is, is it's not the pepper army in my fridge. It's not the Ginster's pasty. It's not the jumper. It's... Listen, big up to every player and every man who pushes forward in life and makes it. And also, big up Martinelli, because he's a smelly belly. But let's break it down, yeah? If you go back to Aubameyang's previous homes and this and that, I'm sure they get smaller and smaller until eventually you reach Gabon. Now, what I'm trying to say is, is it's, a, it's a consequence of being good at what you do in your career and banging goals in. Also, how long before he does make that big move? If he's going to make the big move, people, because this is what the big moves do. It gets you the staircase. It gets you the bowling alley. That's a kitchen. It gets you the fridge packed with a meat there. The spicy meat that bowl. But, this is just a quick one people, I wanted to introduce you to his home because I was intrigued to do it because it was a sexy home and it's gorgeous. Make sure you check out this video as well, it's important because, trust me, you know it's important people, so check out the link in the description. And you know who it is people, it's Arsenal's Realist, like, subscribe, share, it's very important to share and also the most important thing apart from anything is, make sure you love your people, make sure your people love you, you know who it is people, it's Arsenal's Realist, have a good evening, even though it's the morning. See you later.